Hello guys and welcome to AVK App Reviews. Today I am going to show you the overview for Rastapop ROM for Nexus 5. Now this ROM is based on AOSP as well as Cyanogen mod, means it has features of both. So let's check it out. Firstly, I am going to show you the Android version provided by this ROM. Now this ROM provides Android version 5.0.2. I am running the latest build of Rastapop ROM that is released on 29th of Jan 2015 and I am in the stock kernel that come along with this ROM now let's check out the customization now you will see the customization in the menu called Plaster Pop here the first option is status bar you can enable the brightness control over status bar by turning this on then you can enable the battery percentage inside the icon, next to icon or keep it hidden. Then you can enable the power menu in a expanded status bar. As you can see I enabled the power menu screen off. It means when I press on power button, it will give me the power menu. Then next option is navigation bar. Here you can customize the height of the navigation bar. Then next is volume rocker. You can enable your volume button to wake up your device by using volume rocker wake. Then you can enable playback control through your volume button. Means you can seek your song while screen is off using the volume button. Then you can disable or enable the volume key adjustment sound. Then next option is system setting. Here you can enable the advanced reboot menu. You can also enable the kill app back button means when you long press a back button it will kill all the app. So you can enable it or disable it. Another main feature of this ROM is it has RRO based theme engine. Means you can theme your device with RRO overlays. I will post a link in my description about how to theme the RRO based ROM. You can check it out. It's very simple and easy process. Anyone can do it. But the main feature of this ROM is the battery life and smoothness. This ROM is pretty smooth. I never noticed any lag in hardcore game or any task. And the battery life of this ROM is excellent. It lasted me along one and a half day with a screen on time of 4 hour 15 minutes to 4 hour 30 minutes. So it's a good screen on time. And I never noticed any lag or any issue with this ROM. This ROM is pretty smooth and fast. If you want to experience a stock Android with some customization and a great battery life, then go for this ROM. So thank you for watching my video. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and follow me on Google Plus, Facebook and my blog. Thank you.